What's good guys? This video is to show you guys what you can do day one of the new program coming out to make millions of stubs. Uh, if you're somebody that is looking to uh, finish collections or if you just want to bankroll those stubs into investments and be set for the rest of the year, uh, this is for you, right? Uh, this is for grinders. This is for maybe you don't have anything going on that weekend or this Friday or whenever. Um, this method will probably be good until like next Tuesday, something like that. And then it probably won't be worth your time. Uh, the most worth it that it's going to be is from the moment the program path comes out until like that Monday, Sunday night, something like that. Uh, sometime around there is when the prices start to flatline and uh, get to like normal ranges. Uh, and yeah, so you can see I earned a lot of XP last season. I earned 3.3 million XP. Uh, that's probably the most I've ever earned in a split. But the, uh, the season split was longer than usual. I think it was like 52 days or something like that. Whereas in the past, programs have typically been about 30 days. So uh, you definitely have more time. And we got two double XP weekends. And I played a lot of Road to the Show. And uh, that's kind of the method I'm going to go over. Um, is that Road to the Show method. Uh, if you just want to skip right to it, that's cool. Um, also, I will link the video on how I got the best team in the game, no money spent, in the top right, if you just want to see that method straight up, uh, and not worry with the rest of this video. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how much you can make, realistically, right? These captains were like 30k when they came out, so that's why I have the calculator up. We're at 30k already. Uh, this one's probably worth 15, because everybody starts to catch up, starts to earn that. Uh, we won't worry about the stubs and whatnot. Uh, another 15 at least, because, I mean, they were 10k quick sell value. Another 15. We're at 75k already. Uh, these Charisma players, I sold two Lee Smiths for 70k each. Uh, so we'll do one there. Uh, I sold Robinson Cano when he came out for, like, 120k. We're already at 260k. The Boss, uh, I sold my first Muna for, like, 260k. Uh, sold that second Lee Smith, 70k. Uh, I think I took Yoan Moncada and sold him for like 80 at this point, if I remember right. And then uh, this was probably like Granderson or somebody for like 40, something like that. Um, so you can see we're already at like 700k. I imagine I probably took another Moncada. He was probably like 60k at that point. And then I took another boss, and I do remember selling this Mona for roughly like 200k. So, you can see right there, we are already pretty much at a million stubs. Uh, I don't remember if I got this one or not. We can say I did, for, you know, the example's sake. Uh, didn't add it. That would be 995, pretty much. So, I would have made 995,000 stubs within, like, the first two days of the last program coming out. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that, right? It is a grind. It is pretty obnoxious to do. But uh, if you have the time to burn and you're not trying to put in time for the rest of the year and you just want to put in like a bulk, like 16 hour stretch of just grinding the game, um, this is how you do it, right? I would not recommend it. Uh, if you have anything going on, if you have plans for Mother's Day, stuff like that, obviously that takes precedent over video game. But if you're not doing anything, if you're just watching Netflix, something like that, uh, this is for you. So I'm going to re-enable our game volume and uh, get rid of this calculator. There we go. Okay. So uh, what you'll do is you will start a new road to the show. Um, you will go to rosters. Uh, any Joe Random roster will work. This is the name of this one. American Blood was like one of the first guys to do it. Uh, I'm still using this roster. It's no different. From any other one, uh, usually in the description of the Joe Random rosters, it will tell you what team to pick. Uh, if it doesn't, I would go find another one. Or you can just look at the rankings while you're scrolling through uh, what team to pick. So uh, for me, I'll just do my active ball player because I'm out of archetypes, right? There's like 18 Road to the Show archetypes. I've done them all. That's how serious I was about grinding and getting that out the way for the rest of the year. Um... So you do not want to go to your favorite team unless your favorite team is the Joe Random team. So I'm going to say no, I prefer a different team here. 
and we're going to go to the reds. You can see they are first in everything. That's usually a good sign that that is your Joe Random team. Uh, it does not matter what you pick for the rest of this. So you can see we just got drafted. We skipped the cutscene. Here we are. Um, so you won't be on the diamond. You will be on the bronze archetype. The way it works is you come down here, you go task and rewards, and you'll be on like the bronze path at zero. You come down here to your missions. This is how you get points. The biggest ones to get done are these milestone ones. Um, those will give you the most progress. Other than that, you're pretty much just repeating these first few over and over and over again until you get to the end of it, right? So um, make sure you equip your two perks that you'll get with the diamond program. Make sure you put on all the uh, equipment that you want. And once you've done that, uh, you can you can change your batting stance or whatever. Doesn't really matter for what we're doing. We're coming down to settings. We're going to gameplay. We are going to beginner. Beginner, uh, if you're not pitching, obviously pitching difficulty does not matter. Uh, and then we are going to actually go back in the settings and we are going to change our presentation to fast play uh none rarely off off this is going to make it go faster it's going to skip all these uh little like cutscenes that you get all the time in red this show mode specific we go skip next appearance uh we turn off fielding opportunities and turn off base running opportunities we do not want any of that we want the XP and we want to get our missions done. And the way you do that for the most part is by hitting the ball, getting sink, getting hits, getting extra base hits. And uh, that's it as a batter. As a pitcher, there is uh, strikeouts and innings pitched. So depending on what you did, uh, what archetype you pick is what you'll have to do. Uh, if you're struggling, you can come down to stadium assignment. You can change uh, the home field of your at least do your team i would stress that you at least do your team uh you can do a custom field like uh pxp park or you can do uh, one of the newer ones with high elevation like shield woods or capital lane uh and that should uh get you right that should make it super easy basically on beginner they are guaranteed to pretty much only throw their primary pitch and only right down the middle of the plate uh, timing windows are completely massive. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You sit there, you do that, you get to the diamond archetype. I would recommend after you get to diamond, uh, getting to the second equipment pack, which is always at 90, uh, 90 points in the program. Unless you're doing a pitcher, and then they have four equipment packs, but they do take longer, so keep that in mind. They take longer, and they earn less XP. Uh, per program path i've found that you get about seventy-five thousand xp so uh you do the math if they put the first boss back at two hundred thousand or two hundred fifty thousand you're gonna have to be doing like three to four archetypes something like that um and yeah that's pretty much it you just grind right the show archetypes just sit here hit home runs uh if if you do do multiple in a day you will definitely hit the XP cap, the daily XP cap. That is 65,000 every day, unless it is double XP weekend. So uh, obviously you will easily hit that. If you do two archetypes, uh, you will hit it easily. And that will put you around, I'd say two archetypes probably put you around 180,000 XP, something like that. So uh, if you can knock out a couple a day uh, throughout the weekend, you will be in a good shape. To make a ton of stubs this weekend um try and get this video out a little early so you guys can uh, have this information and you know get busy if you want to uh if not uh maybe this will help you down the road when the next program comes out maybe you'll have more time you can fit it into your schedule uh it really just depends on how badly do you want stubs without having to pay for them and uh, if you're a grinder this is your main method for the rest of the year and yeah, as per always, if you guys found this helpful, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Peace.